Hey everyone, it's Angela with Mystic Moon bringing you guys a soul connection reading. This could be for any kind of a soul connection. This is also a timeless reading, which means that you can resonate with it at any time you happen to run across the video. All the decks I'll be using will be listed down below. And today's Organite is called the Arrows of Love Nude. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to take a look and see what your person is thinking about you at this very moment. So we're going to go into the Moody Moon Messages of uh, Masculine Edition 1 and 2 by Sister Moon Tarot. What is your person thinking about you at this very moment? Let's see. What are they thinking? Okay, so we have spiteful, hurtful, vengeful, or immature. That's interesting energy. Let's go ahead and go into my Twin Flame Journey Oracle and see why your person might be thinking these things about you. Okay, there are signs that are pointing to this. So if you and your person are in, let's just say, a separation or a challenge, there could be certain things that they've seen that make them feel that you are feeling vengeful towards them or spiteful. That might not resonate for everybody, but that's what's coming through today's reading. So let's go into the On the Horizon Tarot by Jennifer Aquarius Tarot and get some details as to why this person or what signs they could be seeing that are telling them that you might be upset with them. Ooh, Eight of Swords. Your person can't get you off of their mind. I'm getting that for one. They feel like they have imprisoned themselves because of something that maybe they did. So this isn't to put the blame on your person, but I definitely am feeling that something happened here and they kind of screwed themselves. So by screwing themselves, it's like they ended up hurting you in the process. And now that they maybe can't fix this or feeling stuck, now this is kind of like in their head. So it's more or less in their head and they are seeing signs maybe that you're just not wanting to talk to them or that you can't forgive them. Let's get some more information. Six of wands. I'm getting here that they see you doing really well. Okay. They see you doing really well and almost like you have kind of climbed out of the pits, whatever pits maybe they put you in because of their own actions. I'm getting here that you have victoriously crawled out of a hole and you have now made something of yourself and they are seeing this and now they feel stuck on you. So there are signs that maybe you don't want anything to do with them or that you can't forgive them because of something that they did in the past. I don't know what that is, but that's what we have. What else? Four of Swords, meditation. Okay, your person could actually be meditating and connecting with you or trying to connect with you in order to work out however, um, like whatever hurt was caused. So I almost feel like they are they are trying to make contact with you. This is someone who's trying to make contact with you and maybe send you signs that they're sorry and they see you doing really well and they're kind of caught up in their head now about you because when they were younger or immature, they really hurt you. And so they feel like you despise them and that you're vengeful against them. I don't know why, but that storyline is coming through. It may not resonate for everybody, but that is some aspect that your person is seeing you in. Like they're seeing you in their meditation and they're trying to work something out with you or send you signs that they want to speak to you or that they're sorry, but you might not be having it or they're interpreting this as you just hate them too much to ever give them some sort of a second chance or that they've done this to themselves. So they're, they're just accepting their sentence. <laughs> yeah. Wow. All right. So let's see how they're feeling towards you at this time. How does your person feel in this moment towards you? 
oh my God, you guys, I'm telling you, there's something going on. They're watching you. They see you doing really well, victorious. They see you as somebody that may want nothing to do with them ever again. So they might also see you as someone else that you've moved on. You've crawled out of the hole. You've survived. Your, their con your connection with them didn't kill you. You found a way to become victorious and thrive. All right. Well, let's go ahead and get another card. <laughs> we have pause. Wow. I feel like if you dealt with this individual in the past and it seemed like they held all the cards, now all of a sudden they don't hold the cards. Now they're stuck. You see, like they're stuck on you now eight of swords. They're stuck in their head about you now. So things have kind of been put on hold for them. This could also be someone who has always been busy and now all of a sudden they're meditating and they're having more downtime. They have time to pause and reflect. And now they're really looking at their behavior and now they're in a way jealous and envious because you've moved on without them. I don't know. That one wants to pop out. We have the page of cups. Some of you guys could be dealing with the Pisces. I'm getting here with that open up, open up emotions, right? Open up emotions. They were not open with their emotions, perhaps in the past. Page of cups can sometimes be an apology, but they're, they're like hesitating. So your person may want to actually apologize to you and come back into your life. But what's causing them to pause is what they're seeing in your life. They're seeing something happening. They're seeing something where they're just like, oh, you've moved on. Oh, you're totally over me. Oh, you probably hate me. That's what I'm getting. <laughs> so that's crazy. I'm also getting too that they did not open up with you maybe in the past. And yeah, so that also created a shift, but a pause in this connection. Uh-huh, delays, seven of coins. Seven of coins though is like, is it worth investing? I'm not sure, you know? Seven of coins means we kind of like give up on the investment and we go in another direction. So your person might feel or has felt for a certain period of time that they want to come back. They want to return to you, but maybe they've looked you up online and they see that you're doing well or that you just seem like there's, they see the signs that you're with someone else or that you probably might not be into them or it's just, it's just been so much time that it's like they're not investing. They don't feel like the investment at this point is a smart thing to do. And let's get one last message. Ten of Cups. Some of you guys have moved on with another partnership. Some of you guys have a family or are married. And if that's not your story, what I'm getting here is that some of them are in another relationship, but they're not happy. And if that's not the case either, it's just that they feel like they missed their opportunity. They know that you were like that person for them, but they blew it. <laughs> so this reading is turning into someone that you definitely have not probably stopped thinking about and they haven't stopped thinking about you. But what's being shown at this time to both of you is that Neither one of you probably are on each other's radar, but that's not true. So, yeah. So now what we're going to do is we're going to look into what your person's higher self wants to communicate with you. What do they want to communicate with you? What do they wish to say about just anything? So we're going to go into my Divine Masculine Revelations and let's combine it with, let's see the soul activation Oracle deck shadows edition. So now that we know that something obviously happened to where your person feels like you might hate them, we have grief, heart chakra. So some sort of sadness here. So your person feels like they're in their feelings and they're grief stricken. Yeah. Person's feeling something now. 
They didn't feel it before, but they're feeling it now. Yeah, see, I've thought a lot about you lately. Yeah, you're back on your person's radar. They may have, let's just say, walked away from you. They may have just hurt you in the past. And so they just kind of assume or they're seeing that you've moved on or maybe they're seeing signs that you don't want to hear from them or that you wouldn't like give them the time of day. It doesn't take away this person's feelings though. Maybe it's their turn to cry. That's a song. Oh my God, what song is that? If I can remember it, I'll tell you guys, but it's like from the movie Boomerang. It's, yeah, it's from the movie Boomerang and, which I love that movie from like the 90s or maybe it's the 80s and it's your turn to cry. It's like this group. I can't remember who it is, but it's a great one. That's what I'm getting. So your person is really in their heart space and they're feeling grief. And they thought a lot about you lately. And because they're thinking a lot about you lately, they're feeling a lot of grief and heaviness in their heart space. They feel like they missed out on a good thing. They missed out on their opportunity to be truly happy with, with you know, someone. And it doesn't mean that this person is forever going to be in this grief, but this is where they're at right now. So they, in a way, want you to know that they have thought about you. And I feel like some of them are meditating or have slowed down in life. And so because of this, that's why you're on their mind. You're coming up in their meditation. You're coming up in their energy and they're thinking about you. And this is now they're dealing with it. If they didn't deal with it before, what else? We have violent sacral chakra. Okay. So there's two things I'm getting here. One of them is if your person was violent as in not physically violent, but if they were very violent with their words, very rageful, very um, harmful with some things that they said, this is something that they regret. This is also something that's really heavy on their heart space that they either said or did certain things that were really abrupt and that were really hurtful towards you. That's probably why the very first card was this, because some of you guys are dealing with someone that really did you dirty, really, really did you dirty. And this is not an excuse, but they were very immature at the time getting here that your person may have grown since then. They may have worked on themselves since then. And so have you. And so this product, in a way, this byproduct of the hurts and the things that were created, you've really thrived and you've really found yourself and you've really, in a way, maybe even have been reborn, have really awakened, have really just came into some sort of an alignment with your purpose, your mission. But now it's your person's turn. It's your person's turn to cry. That's what I'm getting here. So irreplaceable, it's like a violent, it's like a violent shift for them. Whereas they may have been avoiding this feeling before or avoiding feeling something, it's like it's violently in their face and it's a very abrupt feeling for them and it hurts because we have irreplaceable. I keep comparing others to you. So your person, even though they may feel like they can't really invest any more in this because you've either moved on or that you wouldn't give them a second chance, because this is just from their point of view, they still can't replace you. So it kind of sucks. So they're left with this feeling of they're never going to find anybody as good as you. They really, really missed out on their 10 of cups. Yep. That's what it is. All right, let's get one last message deprived. Yeah. I don't know if I'm cut out for this apprehensive. So they deprived themselves from really opening themselves up to you. So this to me is the past grief. They have a lot of grief because they were very apprehensive about really opening themselves up and really being authentic and really just being raw and just vulnerable. So they really deprived themselves and they also deprived you from showing you the real them. So that's a, it's, it's like a bittersweet though. So yeah, bittersweet symphony that came up in last reading. Um, it's bittersweet because 
as much as this person feels grief in their heart space and they want to come back and they want to apologize and make things right, they almost kind of realize something great throughout this experience with you. Sometimes you have to do certain things and act in certain ways and go down certain roads before you come full circle and realize who you are. And some of that includes pain and challenges. And I'm just getting here, whatever pain transpired between the two of you has led them to their current course and their current awakening. So in a way you're a blessing in their life, but they can't have you either right now or ever. And that kills your person, but also helps them to grow and be a better person moving forward. So anyways, let's take a look and see what, what do we want to see here? What is spirit? How is spirit guiding? Okay. How is spirit guiding right now? This connection. So let's go into my spirits of darkness and light divination deck and go into my twin flame angel numbers. What does spirit want you to know and understand about this connection? How are you being guided? So we have spirit of the witch. A lot of you guys are being like guided or asked to tap into your magic, tap into your sorcery, tap into your psychic skills. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm getting here that whatever happened between you and this individual was really dark. That's why I said they probably did you dirty. I might even, I might even label this reading. They did you dirty because that's going to help people to, to realize that this reading is based upon somebody that did you dirty. I can't control the way that these soul connection, um, energies come through this, for some reason, this particular day, it's coming through as a very challenged situation. You are being asked to use your magic and your, and your manifestation skills and your psychic powers to really tap into your person's perspective, to gain a better understanding of where they may have been coming from. We're not excusing this person's behavior, but there's something about you needing to see it in a different way than maybe you have seen it all along. The fact that this individual sees you as somebody that hates them or sees them as, or sees them as somebody that, you know, that you just see them as someone that they did you dirty or a bad person. If you're resonating with that, this is going to be helpful and healing for you to see things differently, to see things from their perspective. Again, it's not about making excuses. It's about seeing that people usually that hurt other people are hurt themselves. So there's something for you to gain a better understanding about your person through kind of diving into them to understand them more. And when you do this, you won't feel as hurt by this person. You won't feel like this person's such a villain in your life. And this is actually going to be really healing for you and them. So you're being asked to utilize some of your witchiness, I guess, in a positive way. Not that you're using your witchiness in a negative. But if you would like to manifest a shift or a change with this individual, really try to tap into them. Because I do see that your person is trying to connect with you through meditation. So in a way you're being asked to kind of connect back with them through visualization or meditation or lucid dreaming or something. Yeah. And connect with them there because six plus four is 10. And that means let's cycle this out. Let's, let's end the in things on a good note this time. Even if we can only do it energetically, let's do it. Hmm. Okay. We have spirit of the Pegasus, unrealistic delusions, not as it's, I'm telling you, you guys, oh my God. Remember this reading was really about like, things aren't really kind of what they seem. It seems like maybe you hate them, but you really don't. Or maybe some of you have a lot of wounds, but people are seeing things 
and it's not accurate. And so it's their fear. It's, it's their, their fear that's getting the best of them. They're in their headspace. They're, they're creating a certain narrative that might not even be true. So that's why spirit is asking you to try to get into your person's psyche in order to understand where they're coming from. If your person has not apologized, if your person has not come forward, you're actually being asked to see things from their perspective and it doesn't make it okay or give them an excuse, but it helps you to see why they haven't done this. Oh my gosh, signs. Remember, your person is seeing signs, but I also did get that they might be trying to send you signs. Where is that? They're trying to send you signs. Pay attention to signs and information that comes to you in books, songs, and names. Your person's communicating with you. So spirit wants you to understand they're communicating with you through some kind of just other realm. So it's like you and your individual are connecting energetically. And I think this came up in a pre previous reading because it sounds familiar to me. You guys are connecting energetically first and working out the kinks first and laying a foundation first before maybe coming to some sort of of a even ground in the 3d reality so work with this person's energy because i'm getting here they want to work with yours before you guys actually maybe come together in the physical world that's what we are getting so do some work do some meditation if you want to work things through or have some forgiveness or come for so full circle or have some sort of closure with this individual, I'm getting here that there is a way and you can energetically work with them in the meantime. Beautiful. So let's now go ahead and get some closing, um, some just closing energies. Let's get some advice for the viewer on this situation. We're going to go into my charm cards. We have owl experienced. This is my oh, divine feminine healing and a card just flopped out. It's called imprint. Let me put it up here. My soul has chosen you for this important lesson for healing and ascension purposes. I thank you for our time together. Wow. Imprint. I feel like this is something that came up before your person is always going to feel some sort of connection to you because of, I don't know, some like unfinished business or something. I don't know if I said that before or if I was just feeling it. Yeah. I keep comparing others to you. Like no one is ever going to quite match up to you. You've chosen them and they've chosen you for this experience. So this is a very unique experience that you're having with this individual. So do you see at the very beginning of the reading, it was very much about they've hurt you. They feel like they can't get you back. They feel like they've lost out on their opportunity. This, the circumstances and the dynamics between the two of you have been orchestrated this way in order to really make an impression on each other. You guys have chosen each other for this very difficult, challenging lesson in order to ascend in this life. And so you guys could both heal. So that's why you're supposed to get to a very um, grateful energy with this individual. So if you're not there, which is probably why a lot of this stuff came up earlier, if you're not there, if you're still spiteful and vengeful, blaming your person, you know, cursing them under your breath, this is asking you to get to a healed place with them because it actually helps you as a soul to ascend to the next level. It also helps your person too, because I feel like you guys are in this together. There's a reason that you guys were brought together and there's a reason why you guys have chosen each other for this very important soul lesson. So if you're connected, the energy might as well be amazing instead of heavy. That's what I'm seeing here with that. What else? 
we have <laughs> oh my gosh okay that's so cool i'll tell you why in a minute oh my gosh okay vampire so this is the deal first of all i'm getting here that you guys have had many roles and many lifetimes so this individual and you come into this life again um you're connected to them soul to soul for sure but in this lifetime you play a specific role for them just like they play a specific role for you it's like dress up okay in another life you'll be something else to them vice versa and in other lives you were different things too so it's pretty cool you and this person have gone through many lifetimes together but the vampire it says i will try my best to handle my own issues rather than draining the energies of others around me so this is the deal you guys whatever we are not balanced whenever we are just just activated in our traumas and our wounds and just all of our issues what we'll do is we will feed off of other people like it's a codependency so if you met this individual and you just sank your teeth into them you love the taste you just wanted to continue to feed off of their energy that very like vampiric energy can be draining for anyone this could also be that your person's need for you was too intense. And so this is about really handling your own issues and handling why you're, you have this need for this person in this life. So it's now someone's turn to address their issues and to need something. When we need things or if we feel like we need things or we're really desiring something, it really inspires us to grow and to learn the roles might be reversed now in the beginning you were the and i don't want to say this like it's not really the case but in the beginning you were the vampire now your person's the vampire so you guys are going back and forth in these roles in order to balance out your lives into a balance for healing and ascension purposes so you guys essentially need each other in a way in this life to play out these different things to play out your issues to get the experience that you guys need as souls in order to grow and to heal <laughs> but you don't necessarily have to be in each other's lives for this to happen because there's a soul to soul energy here that means that there's energy constantly and you can tap into it at any time so you are being asked in this reading to work with your person's energy if you haven't worked with it in a constructive way before, you are being asked to create magic with this energy now. Make friends with this energy. Don't remain enemies with this person. It's not going to do you any favors, and it certainly won't do them any favors. So what does this reading mean at the end of the day? How are we summing it all up? Let's go ahead and get one last message. We don't really know what's going to happen. We don't really know the future we can't predict it all we can do is just you know keep moving forward so what does spirit want us to know as far as this connection is concerned so we're going to actually go into this deck here which is a beautiful deck it's a twin flame key deck and i just felt like it was needed cosmic flow your power comes from within. Your tears are an expression of the light and beauty your heart feels and sees. In here, you will find me. Oh my God. This is telling me, you guys, that you're going to find yourself within dealing with the tears of this, of like this person. So it's your person's turn to cry. I get this again. You cried, now they're crying. Who's crying now? I don't know. There's a bunch of songs that are coming up now, Journey. <laughs> but your power comes from within. Whatever you're feeling inside of you, that's where your power comes from. This is also where your ascension is ultimately going to come from. This is where the lessons come from. All of these things that are inside of you are now, you know, in a way kind of coming out and they're coming out for a reason. I feel like the majority of this connection, you have probably spent that time in that energy. Now it's your person's turn. So they're finding out who they are through you, just like you're finding out or maybe have found yourself through them. So there's like this cosmic flow 
it's like you guys flow back and forth between these roles for each other throughout different lifetimes. And this energy is just, it's a cosmic, it's a cosmic connection. That's for sure. But you've got to find a way to flow with it because the thing is, if you have spent the majority of your time being in resistance with this person, do you see how it doesn't flow? You got to get in the flow of this cosmic connection. That's the sweet spot is the flow. Oh my God. <laughs> You guys, seriously, it says each soul holds the key of forgiveness, not just forgiving themselves, but also their person. It's not a time for blame, but to experience a greater awakening of self consciousness for both. Where's the card? What did this say here? It said, if I can find it, where is it? It was one of the cards. It was the owl experience. I don't know why I can't find it now. Here it is. Here it is. So the owl, it says experienced. See? So this is telling us here, we need to forgive ourselves, but also our person. It's not a time to blame. Blaming your person isn't going to get you where. It says, but to experience a greater awakening of self-consciousness for both. You're here to play in this role You've chosen them just like they've chosen you. So that way you guys can ascend through what you guys kind of transpire, not transpire, but um, trigger within one another. So it's actually quite a beautiful connection and there's a lot of depths to it, but it's disguised as dark. It's really disguised as something dark here, but that's the magic of it is finding the magic and finding the light through the darkness. Let's get one last message. Re reflection and reflection is the time when our hearts speak to each other. Oh my God, I want to cry. Do you see this in reflection? This is the time when our hearts speak to each other. This is the time for you and this individual to reflect back off of each other. It says no matter what the distance or situation, because I really feel that if you guys are resonating with this reading, it is for someone that you are in separation with that you might not have talked to in a while. It says, we remember all that we are and all that our person is just a thought away. Remember this when you feel lost. You guys are in reflection right now about each other. But the way that your person sees you is that you have not forgiven them or that how could you forgive them for the things that they've done? So that's why it's a part of your job as you're connected to their soul to forgive them. And if some of you guys have already done this, your person is still hung up on not being able to forgive themselves. So make sure that you do the work. That's the key here. The key is to forgive. And when you are in this energy, this could perhaps be reflected back to you. You could hear from your person. They could come back. You know, for some of you, that may not be in the cards. All I know is that you and this individual have always been connected and will continue to be connected lifetime after lifetime because this is definitely a cosmic connection. So I hope that this reading was helpful to some of you guys out there. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye.